Fun Junk and another fantastic flea market. And how about some great down-home southern yard sales? It's all right here in Ardmore, Ardmore Tennessee. Alabama. Tennessee. Alabama. Ardmore's on both sides of the line. Oh no, but the flea market itself's on the Tennessee side. Rod, could you roll that back a little bit and let us have another shot at this? <laughs> Welcome to Junkin, I'm Val Myers. And I'm Dave Bird. We're in Ardmore, Tennessee at Dog Days Flea Market. Now this place has been here since the 50s and it was originally a place where you would come and buy and sell what, Val? Uh, shoes? No. Hmm. Helicopters? Uh-uh. <laughs> um, dogs? That's right. And these days it has a lot more than just dogs. There's some pretty cool stuff here. And as if that wasn't enough, we're going to check out one fantastic yard sale. Let's get going. I support Bob Clement. <laughs> I do, actually. You Ironically enough, support Bob Clement. Your belly, you've named it Bob Clement, right? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Citizens for Bob Clement, 1977. Citizens for Bob Clement. That means his brother-in-law. You know what this represents? <laughs> PAC money. This is what happens <laughs> when government runs amok. Shouldn't this say, I support Bob Clement's pants? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to use it on her and see if I can get it. Whoever gets the biggest laugh, right. I will use that in the show. <laughs> Don't you think this should say, I support Bob Clement's pants? Probably, yeah. Because it is a belt buckle. That's exactly right. Okay. You may have to get a patent on it. I got a much like bigger that. laugh out of Val with that joke. Okay. <laughs> what was he involved in? Um, uh, okay. People are going to think I'm just dumb. I'm going to say governor. When you're standing next to uh -huh. me, you are not the one who people are going to think is dumb. So $6, is that your... Uh, no, I guess I'm going to have to go four for you. Okay. a lot of luck here. Do you know anything about why horses are lucky? Anything about that? The luck falls out. If you, it's, it's, if it's upside down. Oh, the luck falls out. And when it's up, it, it keeps it in so much longer. Huh. Where'd you get all these horseshoes? Oh, uh, I got them at my local dump, Val. <laughs> Your <true>. local dump? <laughs> I, 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 hunt the, I hunt the dumps. <laughs> like people hunt animals, I hunt dumps. <laughs> Did these dumps. put up a fight? <laughs> no, they didn't. They weren't too hard to catch. Me and my son gathered them up. You know, somebody down there told me you had a rare blood condition. Yeah, I'm junking in my blood. Yeah. <laughs> well, how much are these? Uh, two per dollar. Two per dollar? Okay. If I had had them down here, you would have said eight dollars. <laughs> Find these at the dump? Yes, I did. You did. <laughs> you know, last time I went to the dump, I'm there in my sandals, right? And I'm d getting the garbage off, and I look down, and what am I standing in? You guessed it, a pile of fish heads. But you found these at the dump. Yes, I did. Why would somebody discard these beautiful, beautiful mess of lures? I ain't never figured that out, Dave. But people discard a lot of good stuff, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. How often do you go to the landfill? Oh, uh, daily. <laughs> really? I check it daily. Isn't it highly illegal, though? Huh? Well, how much did you want for these? A dollar would be fine for the three of them. Mashed deer? Mm -hmm. Wow. Where'd you get this? Uh, I bought a case down here about 30 days ago. It was full? Uh, some of them were in the case I bought. Do you have a full one? Not with me, Val, not with me. Interesting, too, that this, this has, like, been strategically opened. Did you suck out the... No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> How much went for this? A dollar. A dollar? Are you sure? Are you just giving me that price because I'm me? Junkin' beer. <laughs> Junkin' beer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, this is Lenita, and she just came up to me with this giant pencil. And what? Why? Why do you have the pencil? My husband wants you to have this pencil. Oh, as thank a gift. you. He watches you all the time, and he said this is to take. And when you cannot get Dave's attention, just <laughs> knock him in the head with it. It's made in Lewisburg, Tennessee. So it's for hitting Dave, and also, oh, right. and it writes. Uh -huh. It really writes. Head in it. Your husband really does watch the show because this is like the perfect gift for me. Thank you. I'm going to go hit Dave. Hey, Dave. Uh -huh. What's that you got there? That's a big like Shut a up. Sa homemade Ugh. safe. Ugh. 
Get in your box. Get in there. <laughs> Go to your box. <sighs> this is pretty great. It is great. Yeah. Not as great as what? This. Whoa. This is a big steel box that weighs about 180 pounds. Okay. Homemade. And you want me to tell you what this box is? I do. It's a vault. A vault? Mm -hmm. Like a safe? Yeah. Like to keep to your keep valuables? Your money. Like salad? Oh, yeah. no, money. Yeah, money. Probably a man did this. This looks like mm -hmm. man's work right here. That's right. <laughs> it lacks artistic flair, but it's very sturdy, is it not? Yeah, that's right. He made it where his wife couldn't get in it. <laughs> <laughs> Look what I found. The face is like dramatically different yeah, color. <laughs> it's like tanning bed gone wrong. I thought that was weird and then I um, turned it around and then I realized the head is Bo Duke. But the what? Yeah, Scott was like, hey, why does he have a turtleneck on? <laughs> Bo Duke does not no, wear a turtleneck. No, 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 no. So somebody stuck Bo Duke's head on some other body from 1974. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right, he would never be caught dead in a, in a turtleneck. Yeah, you look familiar. You don't oh remember? wait, I remember now uh, from uh, Scottsboro. Yeah. You were the one that was so impressed because we were TV stars. Right. No, we're I on TV. wasn't. <laughs> yeah, I think you were. I think that was you. I'm going to get this this time. His neck and head say something different than his body. Do you have any idea? No. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know until you told me. <laughs> Considering that fact, how much money do you want for this? Six. Six? Okay. So this is a cute little silver box here. But on further examination, <laughs> it can be revealed that it is a cup. And this is how much? For you, Dave, five. OK. <laughs> I think wow. I just got the TV discount because we're on TV. And She's so impressed by that. Yeah, she is. <laughs> it's because we're on TV, right? I can't stand it. <laughs> yeah. Call that a wiener dog, wouldn't you? Wiener dog. Blue, big headed wiener dog. Skinny tailed. Blue, big headed, skinny tailed wiener, wiener dog. dog. Translucent. Yeah. Blue, big headed, translucent, skinny tailed wiener dog. Look good sitting on someone's dash. That would look good sitting on someone's Not dash. A blue, big translucent, big headed, skinny tailed wiener dog look good on somebody's dash. Yes. I bet this is really old though. Well, I remember when I was younger, I worked at a restaurant where the waitresses will roller skate sometimes. Right, right. And we would put these on the trays when we took the food out to them. No kidding. Mm -hmm. You would give these away to people? Mm -hmm. Back in 1977. Wow. And this is only a quarter. Yeah. You should raise prices. Well, I mean, right after we leave. <laughs> Look at those sinister eyes. Sinister eyes, translucent blue wiener dog with a big head and skinny tail look good on a dash. You were saying earlier that this is uh, your husband? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Modeled for that one? He's feeding away. <laughs> um, we're, you know what's weird is we always find these uh, monkeys, but there's four, like, usually. Like, why is there only three on this one? It's all see no evil. Speak no evil. Do no evil. And then the one that we keep seeing is do no evil? Do no evil. Have no fun. Yes. <laughs> this guy, he's kind of doing both. Oh, yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> uh oh. It looks like he's going to throw up, though. Puke no evil. And this is $3? $3. Thank you so much. <laughs> Remember, Dave and I don't get to keep all this cool stuff ourselves. That would be downright unneighborly. Yeah, so everything we buy on Junkin' ends up on an online auction for you, our fellow junk lovers. Just go to turnersouth.com, follow the links to the Junkin' auction, and make a bid. Hey Dave, check this out. It's some weird game. Oh, you think? Yeah, Man it's, a, drink, it's a drinking game. Oh, a drinking game. Yeah, you can drink uh, hot or cold alcohol. It could be milk. No, seriously, guys, what is it? I don't know. I have I no idea. idea. It's an old wooden egg timer. Egg timer! Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> what about the egg? Are you timing? Well, when you boil an egg, uh -huh. you, have, you know, it's supposed to be your sand goes down, and your egg should be done when the sand's completely. Oh, because you can't see in the egg. I like my eggs runny. So that I'm not for sure. Hmm. You have to have a different timer, the runny timer. Oh. Yeah. <laughs>
I've never tried to make an egg. I should. I'm going to do that. I'm going to make an egg. Well, you eat them raw, right, with your training program? Right. Yeah. <laughs> I have been a big fan of cuckoo clocks for a long time. It's pretty cool the first five or six hundred times it comes out and goes cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. But then you just want to take a bat to it after a while. I'm serious. You want to take a bat to it and smash it into a million pieces. And then you'd be filled with remorse. Um, and don't ask me how I know that. And your, your price on this is? You can have it for $40. 40 bucks, And that's your low dollar if you wouldn't even consider taking 30 to mm. 50 or even 33, I you would have, have no way you would take 33. I guess I'll take 33. You would take 33. I would take 33. This has something mm. to do, well, it, it's, it's electrical, which means it has mm. something to do with a pet. This right here is the electrical cord, modular variety. This here is the lid. Now what you do is you plug that in, mm. turn it on, this gets hot, you stick something in there, put the lid on, and, and this stirs it. You're correct. Scrambled eggs. Uh, you could use fondue. It that, Fajitas. Uh, pudding. Cookies. Popcorn. Popcorn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that is brilliant. This wow. was Great. made, no doubt, invented by an American. Oh, had to be. <laughs> had to be. What's this, Dave? Mad cow creamer? No, moo cow. Oh, I, I read it wrong. <laughs> anyway, I hope she comes down on prices a little bit. Try to get the package deal. Set her okay. up for the package okay. deal, and then I'll try to I'll try to close it out. Okay. So we're going to do the swoop and swap? Yeah, the swoop and swap. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> You okay. just made that up, didn't you? Yeah. This is neat. Is this like a promotional item or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it I promotes cream. <laughs> I think you're biting your tongue. You really want to say something no. outlandish <laughs> and crazy. I can feel your venom. <laughs> <laughs> you must be talking to my husband. <laughs> How much you want for this? I wanted eight, but since the zoo is full. That's the TV price. Yeah. Dave and I, before we came up to you, we had conspired to do the swoop and swap. Yeah. But we haven't needed to. No. Why does swoop and swap mean? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, Val. You know what I just realized? This, this matches your belt My buckle. belt buckle, yeah. But yours has a spaceship and it's sparkly. Wow, I wonder if they gave kids these. They don't give kids anything. Mm. You pay through the nose for every bit of that. Wow. Only in the 70s did they have that chunky style glitter. Well, this is called the Wild Blue Yonder. That's <laughs> what that's called. Did you ever go to that space station place that's around here? Oh, uh, the space camp in Huntsville? Yeah, yeah. Never did. Mm. You have to be invited? I went to camp back of the house. Do you know maybe how old this is? 50s maybe? Made in USA, so it's got to be at least 40 years old. 40? <laughs> yeah. I don't say China no more. Even though the space shuttle itself is not really that old, but, oh. you know, I'm not going to argue with you about oh, yeah. it. And glitter, you know, that's only been around a couple of years, but, okay, I've, you know, I don't want to argue about it. <laughs> how much is this? 10. 10 bucks? Yeah. And that's the best you can do on that? No, nah, you know, I come down. Did you do? Seven. Seven? Okay. <laughs> you enjoy space travel as much as I do? Yeah. Sure. This is uh, sort of a brass ashtray with Az Aztecian sort of uh, inlays there. And then uh, it's got Mexican currency actually here that's been defaced and uh, attached mm. by, by way of soldering. So $4, is that your is that your best price on this? Or that's about, are you gonna stick with four? We don't come down. You don't come down. How many, um, Pesos, would, would this add up to four dollars? It okay. depends on the exchange rate. <laughs> You're very intimidating. I cannot believe you say that. Well, you poked me right in the chest you with make, your finger. You make me an offer and I'll sell it to Did you. you see that? that? He's like the the most famous jockey of all time, isn't he? He is? I think so. Yeah, you're right. His yeah. name is Will, William Willie Lee Shoemaker. Shoemaker. He won a bunch of uh, horse races, right? This is from where? Ho Hollywood Wait, Park. Where's Hollywood Park. It's a racetrack in Hollywood. A racetrack in Hollywood? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. There Have you ever been? Yeah. Did you win? Many times. Mm, no. Lost anyway, it all. Didn't yeah, you? I lost everything. They're trying to get young people to go, so I guess they made pla place that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What are you saying? This is very expensive. <laughs> Why would this placemat from 1985 be expensive? This guy is a genius. He is? 
I'm not sure exactly who he is, but yeah, he's famous. You know what? I really don't know what this is, to be honest. That's Bill Shoemaker. Yeah, do you not yeah. know who Bill race? Shoemaker really? is? But would you say a dollar is probably a fair price for this? Mm, probably three. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when you're out yard selling or flea marketing, one of the first things you want to buy is like a bag or a box or something to put your other stuff in. And Val found this thing. Oh, this is a good bag. This will cost you $50. $50. I mean, yeah. all joking aside, yeah. all joking aside. five dollars. No, 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 no. This is leather. It's I'm orange. I'm not kidding. Orange. Oh, <laughs> really? That's good. Breathe. Breathe. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, huh, you got a, you got a mean hook. Orange. Twenty. I'll meet you halfway. Whoa. Twenty. Twelve fifty. You got it. Go. Dave, I found an inspirational poster from oh, the 70s. Cool, yeah. It doesn't say anything, unfortunately, but it is inspirational. It's very inspirational. It is. Look how inspired she is. I know. She's, but she's like, ah, something just landed on my head. Would you help me supply some words? <laughs> now, you know what I'm talking about. I like, wish I was there rather than here. <laughs> oh, that's good. I wish I was there rather than here. Oh, the snooper. Snooper. That's a, it's a measuring device. They're measuring atomic doodads. Is that the instructions for the snooper? Now, what are they snooping for? Uranium. That's sneaky uranium. This guy's like, scanning for uranium deposit, <laughs> sector 3A. Ah, fresh cup of uranium. Awesome. This is cool. Do you hear any uranium? But you'd never get through security, I don't think, at the airport with that. Mainly because of this symbol right here. And it's from Acme, which is notorious for the things that blow up. <laughs> I'm afraid you're going to really want a bunch of money for this. A lot of the newer stuff yeah. for uh, radioactive detection yeah. is in the thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. No, I wasn't really thinking in that area at no. all. <laughs> no, I'll take ten for it. Ten. Hmm. Thousand. What do you... No. <laughs> <laughs> this is so Scooby-Doo. Hey, look, Dave. Old pop, pop. Pop pop. pop what is that snap. gum? No, it's those popper things. They are made in China. They are. Yes, Chinese invented the snap and yes. pop. Yeah. You know what happens when, um, like, explosives sit around for a long time? They go bad. They sweat liquid nitrogen. Right. So, well, they're hygroscopic. Right. I thought maybe you might want to try to pop one because it, it might. These are really really old. Watch out! I mean, seriously, it could be highly explosive. This could be dangerous. The concussion alone. <laughs> Could uh, pop our float bubbles. <laughs> here we here we go. <laughs> Insert explosion right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can we beef that up a little bit or something? <laughs> this I don't know anything about it except that it says. Look it up now. Your baby went down. The plug hole. The plug hole. <laughs> What's a plug hole? <laughs> yeah, it says for private recording. It was obviously one of those recording booths. This is much like what Elvis got. So this could be an uh, undiscovered genius. Could right be here. like Jailhouse Rock. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what price range is this record in? You think? You know, you guys drive a hard bargain. Well, so, so do you, ma'am. You're very intimidating. I don't know why you say that. Well, you poked me right in the chest you with your finger. You make me an offer, <laughs> and I'll sell it to you. Did you, you see that? that? <laughs> Is a plug hole big enough, really, for a child to, to disappear down? I just like Whoa. the looks of that lady. I love that hairdo. <laughs> you know, when you've got light bulbs or electronic equipment, maybe batteries mm -hmm. uh, that you have in the junk drawer, if it's something uh, that works, you write works, and if it's something that's broken, you throw it away. But this, somebody's written, still good? They don't know. <laughs> they don't know if it's still good. This is basically worthless, but I'll give you like a quarter for it. I'll take $2. I'll give you a dollar. I'll take a dollar fifty. A dollar and a quarter, and that's my final offer. A dollar, a dollar seventy-five, and that's my final offer. Wait, didn't I Wait. got it down to one fifty <laughs> before? Saying, right? Didn't you say a buck fifty? I think I said two. But then later on, you said a buck fifty. Okay, a yeah. dollar fifty. Okay. Yay! If these don't work, we're coming back here. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna I get want my money back. <laughs> yeah. As we said earlier. 
everything Dave and I purchase on Junkin is auctioned online to you, our fellow junk enthusiasts. And when we get back, we'll show you where some of today's items ended up. But at any time, you can bid on items for upcoming shows. Just go to turnersouth.com, follow the link to the Junkin Auction, and make a bid. So, dog days of summer, not fun. Right. Dog days flea market, fun. Very fun. Well, it's time to see some highlights from our online auction. But remember, at any time, you guys can bid on items from upcoming shows. Just go to turnersouth.com, follow the links to the junk and auction, and make a bid. Val and I are not experts on what all this junk is worth. Sometimes we win, sometimes we lose. It's all up to you. People ask us all the time, do you guys really sell everything that you get at the flea market? The answer is, maybe, maybe not. This steel box, for instance, it is actually right now still sitting in my front yard at the exact location where we unloaded it after this trip. Hey, wasn't that the steel box was just to put in the general flea so junk would stop flying out of it? I think it is, yeah, <laughs> but, but none of us can muster up, you know, the willpower to actually go out there and move it. <laughs> so there it sits. I paid a dollar for this mash beer can, and uh, Margie N. of Macon, Georgia paid $8.04 for it. She's a collector, <laughs> no doubt. Okay, I paid $4 for this Moo Cow Creamer. Which was a great purchase, I think. Really? Yeah, it was great. <laughs> anyway, Don C. of Aiken, South Carolina, paid $25 for see? it. See? See? Yeah. I paid 8 bucks for this antique popcorn popper, which I say still <laughs> was a bargain. A steal. Antique? <laughs> yeah, well, old. And it went to Marie S. of Jonesboro, Georgia for $4.98. Uh oh. Oh. Hey, but we do have a picture. <laughs> I wonder why they're making popcorn over their computer. I don't know, but that is strictly verboten in my house. I think we both get credit for the big winner today because we both had items that came within pennies of each other. Oh, okay. I paid $3 for this wooden trash can with all the monkeys on it. Perfect. And Jeff G. of Knoxville, Tennessee paid $31.99. People love a monkey. And my big winner of the day was the $7 space shuttle belt buckle that I bought. Yes. It went to Wendy T. of Monroe, North Carolina for $32.50. You Woo cannot go wrong with the NASA space program. Bye now. Bye. Is that, was that your mom? mom? <laughs> Can I talk to her? Hi, Mom. This is David from TV. <laughs> well, it's a regional show. It's really good. Never heard of it. 